your hearts be directed into God's love. Di pelotsa lena a di shupetswe mo leratong la modimo. Your hearts must be directed. Di pelotsa lena a di shupetswe into God's love. Mo leratong la modimo. Is Jesus who directs the hearts. Ke Jesu yo a shupetsa go di pelo. Is Jesus who directs the heart. Ke Jesu a laola go di pelo. Why? Because ka le baka lang ka gore it's him alone. Ke ena fela who was given in the authority and the power. Yo a ile nga fa matla le taolo. Lift up your hands. Paramisha matsoro mo lengo na paramisha matsoro. In prayer, I want you to pray this prayer. Katapelo kido magere katrapela tapelu. When you are saying, Lord, teach me the truth. Ntute nete. I need your word. Kinyaka linchula gaho. Direct my life. Shupeta bo pelubaka and direct my heart. Shupeta le peluyaka into God's love. Mole ratong le la mudimo. Lord help me today. Mudimo ntu shelo hono. I'm here. Kefa in the presence oh. of the Holy Spirit. I'm hungry for you. I'm thirsty for you. I need your weight. Comfort me, Lord. With your word. In Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. 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 Clap hands for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we are going to read the word of God. Which is the best foundation. When we have the prayer request, when we want to ask something from God, the word of God is needed as a foundation. Whatever we receive, when we are standing on the strong foundation, which is the word of God, we receive. Praise the Lord. Can we read together the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. We are going to read verse 4 and 5. It says, we have confidence in the Lord that you are doing and will continue to do the things we command. May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. Go mme rena re holofetse ka morena gore tshe re le laela go tsona le a didira me le tlo fela le tswela pele le didira a morena a etetse dipelo tsa lena a di ishe le ratong la modimo le khotlelelong ya Christ The other version the King James version it says and we have confidence in the Lord concerning you both that you do and will do the things we command you. Now, may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God 
and into the patience of Christ, into God's love, and into the patience of mo, Christ. Mo le ratong la mudimu le mo khote le long ya Christ. Praise the Lord. Mra na garetu. Under this topic, which says, "Tava kholo ya lo hono ere." Let your hearts be directed into God's love. Di pelota le na adi shupetwe mo le raton la mudimu. Your hearts must be directed. Di pelota le na adi shupetwe into God's love. Mo le raton la mudimu. Oh, what a blessing! Chofa tuye kaka. When your heart is directed to God. And to see God's love. Again, is after you have received the one who came presenting the love to us. His name is Jesus Christ. If you want to see the love of God, you must see the love of God through Jesus Christ. Who came. He came and demonstrated the love of God. Even today, we are still seeing the love of God through him. When we call his name, his name is also directing us into God's love. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say amen. amen. So let your heart be directed into God's love. I want you to see this. For your love to be directed into God's love. It doesn't need to be forced by somebody. God wants you to choose. God wants you to see and you choose. That is why to be born again is the work which is happening in the heart. Is when the heart of somebody is accepting Jesus Christ. So when the Lord Jesus Christ is in your heart, we can say the love of God is right in your heart because where Jesus Christ is, he works what his father wants. And again, when Jesus Christ is controlling the heart of men. That heart of men is being controlled by the love of God. Praise the Lord. When you hear the gospel of Jesus Christ, know that really you are highly favored by God. When you are still alive and hearing the word of Jesus Christ. Because this word will change your life. And Jesus Christ is able to change your life. But only when you are accepting him. So, from where we read, we are hearing about the hearts when they are being directed into God's love. That is the topic of today's church. God wants your heart to be directed into God's love. 
mo leratong la modimo so today is your day le khono le ke letsa tsila gao open your heart for jesus christ gore le wena o tlo bule pelo ya gao o ibule le morana jesus lord jesus christ to work great things in your life gore morana jesus a tla diri dilo tse dikgolo mo bophelong ba gao today is your day le khono le ke letsa tsila gao the day of opening your heart le tsa tsila go bula pelo ya gao and allow the good news to come into your heart o dumela le ditaba tse tse di botse tse gore di tsene mo pelong ya The good news ditabatse di botsitse will take control in your life ditota di laula bophelo bo ba gago and this good news will direct your life pedi ditabatse tse di botsi di tla shupetsa bophelo ba gago so point number 1 it says ntla ya mathomo ere is jesus who directs the hearts ke jeso yo a shupetsa go dipelo is jesus who directs the hearts ke jeso a laola go dipelo why because ka le bakalang ka gore it's him alone ke ena fela who was given in the authority and the power yo a ile nga fa matla le taolo this is the power to save ke matla a go phulusha and the power to forgive sins ke matla gape a go lebalela bobe and the power to heal ke matla go fodisha and the power to bring the blessings ke matla a go tlisha di tshogofatse so is jesus so le ke jeso who is able to direct your heart e ya khona go go laola pelo ya gago without jesus ntle le jeso your heart will be lost pelo ya gago e tla timela without jesus ka ntle le jeso you will find yourself in the kingdom of the devil o tlo ikhwetsa o le mmushong wa satan without jesus ka ntle le jeso you will be lost o tlo timela when you will be following the spirits o bo latela memoya is jesus christ ke jeso christ who is having the authority yo ana go le matla to direct our hearts a go shupetsa dipelo tsa rena and this is your day le ke le tsa tsila ga go for your heart to be directed o gore pelo ya ga go e tle la ulwe this is your time ye ke na go ya ga go for you to know and to see the love of god ya gore wena o tlo bone bile o tsebe le ratola modimo some you were crying ba ba mba lena le be le lla by what you were told by people le sha ke tse batho ba le buditsego some you were rejected by people ba ba mba tho ba sa hlo ba sa le nya ka ga o fire bone but hear this good news for you e mba thele tse tse di bose tse Jesus Christ is calling you. Morana Jesu wa go bitsa to come into God's love. O re tla o tle mo leratong le la modimo. And for you to enter into God's love. O mme gore wena o tle o tsene mo leratong le la modimo. Only your heart is needed. O hlokagala pelo ya ga go fela. When your heart is in God. Ge pelo ya ga go ile mo go modimo. Then all your things will follow where your heart is. Dilo ka mokatsa ga go di tlola tela fa pelo ya ga go ile go. Is Jesus Christ. Ke Jesu So Christ who is having authority to work in the heart Iona go le taolo ya go shuma ka magara ga pelo Jesus Christ Ke Jesus Christ is able to be in the heart Ye leng go re o khona go ba ka magara ga pelo Immediately when he enters into your heart Ge fela thoma tsana ka gara ga pelo ya gago All the things which were controlling your heart they You look come ka tse di be go di laola mo pelong ya gago He himself is the light. Yena ke ena seetsa. He wants to shine in your heart. O nya ka go phadima ka mopelong ya gago. When your heart is in God's love. E ge pele ya gago e le mo le ratong le la modimo. You will do the will of God. O tlo dira thato ya modimo. And you will follow the commands of God. E bile o tlo latela melao ya modimo. You will work all things. O tlo dira dilo tse ka moka. According to the will of Jesus. Go ya le ka thato ya morena Jesus. According to the will of the Father. Go ya le ka thato ya tate for your heart to be changed gore pelo ya ga go etle e fetoge you need jesus christ o hloka jesus fela some you are still bound by many things ba bang le sa tlemilwe ke dilo tse ntshi there are many bondages go na le dipofu tse ntshi there are many heavy chains go na le diketane tse ntshi tsa wima which are driving you and taking you to the wrong place tse leng gore di sa re go go bisha di isha mafelong a se gwaloka but for those bondages to be broken jwa le gore maemo a wa tla fedishwe you need jesus christ when he is in your heart o nya ka gore jesus a be ka mo pelong ya ga some you are being tormented by the evil dreams ba bang le sa ke sha ditoro tsempe but 
for you to be set free from all those evil dreams that Jesus Christ in your heart. Some you are thinking that really to be called a Christian is a hard thing. It's a hard thing when you are alone. But when you allow Jesus Christ to be in your heart, that's a simple thing. Some of you, you are cowards. You are living in the fear. Also, when you are in your home, you have fear. But look now. Allow Jesus Christ to be in your heart. The fear will leave you. Say amen. Some, you are living in the fear because you have seen the members of your family passing away. One after another. And again, rapi, rapi. the whole family is caught by fear. Allow Jesus Christ to direct your heart. He will take your heart to God's love. You will know that God loves you. You know to know that God loves you. Let me tell you it's a blessing. To know only that Jesus Christ loves you is a victory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because when you know that he loves you you are not going to fear anything. People can put threats against you. People can make evil plans against you. But in all, you will overcome all the words. And you overcome all evil plans. Say amen. Amen. Is Jesus. Ki Jesus who is saving authority. Yana oleta ulo. Is Jesus. Ki Jesus who is saving power. Yana olema ata. Is Jesus. Ki Jesus who is saving the love. Yana olele rato. Because for him to die on the cross. Kalaba kalago rea ihuwa kote ya sifapano. Is because of love. Ki kalaba kalale rato. For him to shed his blood. It's because of love. He carried all our sins. Because he loves us. He was beaten. On behalf of us. He was nailed on the cross. When he was doing that for us. He was doing that for you. Is Jesus himself. Let us read Romans chapter 5. Verse 8. Verse 8 it says. But God demonstrates his own love for us. In this. While we were still sinners. Christ died for us. When we were still sinners, Jesus Christ died for us. God demonstrated his love by making his son Jesus Christ to die for us. To die for the sinners. This is the love of God which came into the whole world to all generations to all nations this love came with Jesus Christ we were not going to know that really God loves us if Christ Jesus didn't come here and he demonstrated the love of Jesus the love of God he demonstrated the love of God by dying for us on the 
were sinners. There is Jesus who died for you. If really you were told by many people, when they say they hate you, don't worry. There is Jesus Christ who loves you. And there is God the Father who loves you. The love of Jesus Christ made him to be crucified. He was crucified for our sins. We see the love of Jesus. Also, now when we are calling him, he answers us. When we are disparaged, when we are no longer seeing the way of coming out, Jesus Christ is allowing himself to be our way. When we call his name, his name opens the way for us. And even today, all what you want, when you pray in the name of Jesus, this name of Jesus will bring the answer. Again, can we read together first epistle of John? Chapter 4. Verse 9, it says, This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. Le rato la mudimu le arerati le rukalona le wana rete kare a ruma murua rawe mutwala eshi we see the love of God when God sent his son. God loved us and sent his son to come and be the sacrifice of our sins. So when we have Jesus, we know that really we'll be able to see the love of God. When we have Jesus Christ, we will understand very well the work which Christ Jesus has done for us. We were sinners, but now we are saved. Also, you who are still a sinner today, I have the good news for you. When you are still a sinner, then Jesus Christ is able to save you and remove your sins by his blood. Oh, we thank God for Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Point number two, it says, God is the strength of your heart. God is the strength of your heart. Why? Because when your heart is directed into God's love, this is what will happen. God will be the strength of your heart. Hey, God will be the strength of your heart. When your heart is shaking, God will.